Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to COD Emperor. Today I'll be covering 10 things a player didn't know about Jason Hudson. Let's get into the video. Number 10 was a member of the 101st Airborne. Looking through Hudson's intel, players can learn about his military career. It would seem that he was a member of the 101st Airborne Division, being honorably discharged in 1955. The intel describes Hudson as a capable soldier in his own right, showing he made a name for himself. The skills Hudson learned from the 101st Airborne allowed him to join the CIA and become an agent. Secretary McNamara? Your reputation precedes you, sir. Stop. Number 9. Fought in the Korean War While serving in the 101st Airborne, Hudson was sent to the Korean War. Unlike other characters in the series, he was not recruited by the CIA during the war. It is unveiled that this is where he learned the art of subtlety while in combat. Hudson was discharged and enrolled in Georgetown University after the war, majoring in psychology and political science. I've been hunted across every corner of the globe. And if you Number 8 has different voice actor in each game. Players might not have noticed it, but Hudson's voice actor changes in each game. He's voiced by iconic actors with Ed Harris being the voice in the first Black Ops, Michael Keaton voices Hudson in the second game, and Edward Bosco is the voice of Black Ops 4. Payotter Michael is the voice of Hudson in Black Ops Cold War. I was hired to help stabilize Sutton. Number 7, nicknamed Ice Cube and Rock. Throughout the series, Hudson is given nicknames by the different characters. Alex Mason calls him Ice Cube, referring to Hudson's personality. Hudson has a calm and collected demeanor in each mission that he appears in. Squadmates from his past called Hudson Rock, making a reference to the voice actor Ed Harris. Ed Harris was in a movie called The Rock. Hudson is also one of the few characters in the game to have a nickname as the others go by their regular names. <laughs> Number 6, Hudson's terminal password is Bryant1950. In Black Ops, players were able to find a terminal and log into the accounts of different characters. To access Hudson's account, players need to put in the username J Hudson, and the password is Bryant1950. The password is a reference to Hudson's academic advisor and the year he was awarded the Silver Star in 1950. Accessing this account lets players read Hudson's messages between other characters and agency leaders. Nation. Woods, you look like hammered shit. Number five has a distrust of Woods. Compared to Hudson, Frank Woods is the complete opposite. Hudson remains cool and collective in his submission by the books, but Woods goes off the rails and lets emotions take over. This leads to tension between the two with Woods making it known he does not respect Hudson. During the mission, Time and Fate in Black Ops 2, players can see the most tension between the two. Woods and Hudson argue throughout the mission with Hudson telling Mason to watch out for Woods in private. At the end of the mission, Woods throws a grenade and seemingly kills Menendez, failing the mission. Number 4 was targeted in mission to eliminate him. In Black Ops, intel can be found for a mission called Operation Trebatus. Reading through it reveals Hudson, Mason, and Gregory Weaver were being targeted by the CIA and the MI6. The mission took place in 1978 and was caused by Mason being considered a national threat. Hudson and Weaver were assisting him, making them threats as well. Watch! Hudson, run! Run! Number 3 Oversaw Operation Greenlight. The story of Black Ops Cold War includes trying to stop Perseus from activating Operation Greenlight. The program was supposed to be a failsafe if the Soviet Union invaded Europe, with nukes being located in major European cities. By finding intel during the campaign, it is revealed Hudson is the overseer of the program. While canonically Perseus' plot is uncovered and put to a stop, players can choose another option, lying to the CIA team and leading them to the wrong location and causing the nukes to detonate all over Europe. Number 2. Evidence of Hudson's Mission Found during the mission Echoes of a Cold War and Black Ops Cold War, players will go to Mount Yaman 2 in search of a mainframe. This is a familiar location as Hudson assaulted the base during the mission WMD and Black Ops. While sneaking through the facility, dead bodies of soldiers from the 1960s can be found. In these bodies, players can find crossbow bolts, interacting with the bodies will have Mason and Woods mention Hudson's mission, whole numbers will also float around the screen. Sycorax. This inner sanctum was built in 1943. Number one, makes appearance in Black Ops 4. Hudson is killed by Menendez while on a mission to Panama. For anyone who owns Black Ops 4, Hudson can be bought and used as an operator for blackout mode. He will appear in his normal white shirt and black pants, having an appearance similar to his Black Ops self. There is also another skin that gives players that they can unlock Hudson as well. This one is called Vacation Hudson, giving him a look that does not fit his personality. Maybe being revived caused Hudson to become more relaxed. We are brothers. We are 
the same. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any other videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.